Hello everyone, my name is Beric. Hey, I'm Reed. Welcome to Going Deeper. Absolutely, and I'm going to read our passage that you just went over. Yeah. Um, it is in John 13, uh, 34 through 35. A new command I give to you, love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. And by this, all men will know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. Uh, love this passage. It's so helpful. It's one of those, it's like, oh, this is the heart and soul yeah. of what Jesus taught us and commanded us to do. So, yeah. yeah. And and I, I love the idea that the, the love that he calls us to do mm-hmm. is love that we probably will have the opportunity to do. Mm. You know, th- so in other words, Barrick, um, sometimes I think we can super spiritualize that and say, mm-hmm. yeah, I, I need to die to myself. I, I need to, you know, uh, theoretically uh, mm-hmm. do that. But he just did a really specific servant act mm. and then said, there, like that. Yeah. And and so I guarantee you we will have an opportunity to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Can you think of any stories of people that come to mind that you're like, oh, this person, they just they they nailed it. They served, yeah. uh, they they um washed someone's feet metaphorically. Right. Yeah. Um today. And and I would say that we have the uh, the privilege of having a lot of our team members that live this out. Yeah on a regular basis. 100%. Um, and th- from my perspective, some of the, you know, the clearest ones, Steph Albright yep. is someone that, that you know and is on our staff. And yeah. Steph has a whole cadre of, of people that you'll never hear about, never meet probably, um, who regularly just go to places and to people who are um, at, left out um, who are not noticed yeah. and and love them by really practical needs, by food mm-hmm. or by shelter or by uh, medical attention or yeah. and and that group just on a regular basis right here in our neck of the woods yeah. do that. The, the other one that that I would say is some of our our partners um, overseas. Yeah, you know um, so. Josh and his team in in Managua. I I, I remember um, being there one time, and um, there was a feeding center, and and how they were were feeding these these kids, and and I just thought, I mean, that was for me a moving visit, but but I got back and I thought they just they do that every single day, mm-hmm. um, and no one but. The kids who are getting fed ever will notice. Yeah. Well, God will notice. <laughs> and uh, yes. And so, yeah, th- that's the idea of people who just daily, without a lot of fanfare, um, wash feet. Mm. That and that word fanfare, without the fanfare, is interesting to me because a lot of this and how Jesus taught us to serve is like humbling ourselves and doing the things maybe not everyone wants to do. Um, how can we make sure uh, that we keep a uh, not prideful heart in that? Because yeah. it's very easy to think of, oh, look how much I'm serving. I do this. I do this. God, look how great I am. Like, I am doing this so well. And let me take a picture and put it on Instagram. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> 100%. Yeah, and and I think that, you know, when Jesus would talk about the kingdom, um, one of the most repeated uh, descriptions that he would use is about its size and Mm. uh, about the um, way that it was hard to see yeah and and so i i would take i challenge people to take um some uh direction from that to say this is not a grandiose you know event um the kingdom of god is in small seemingly insignificant maybe not even noticed um, steps yeah. of serving. And so to be able to protect your heart, yeah. um, you know, do something that no one knows about, uh, <laughs> regularly, yeah. you know, and, and so we, as a church, we have one of our values is it's not about us. Yep. And so we want to partner uh, whenever possible and let somebody else get the credit. We just think that's good for us as an organization. Yeah to, to guard our hearts. And so personally, the same way, um, to be able to, 
to give and serve and love in ways that may never make a Facebook feed. Yeah. Um, that's a good practice for us as Christ followers. Yeah. And I will say, this can be really hard to live out sometimes, that value of not being about us. Like sometimes I'm like, I feel like, oh, but we, we did this thing. Why are we not getting any cre- Come on. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and then I have to remind myself, oh, right, Jesus. <laughs> he didn't want, yep, right, stay humble. Uh, keep a, uh, a, a pure, humble heart before God. Yeah. It's really challenging to do some days. And, and, it, and it does change you in that way. I remember Jesus you know, saying that, um, that people who receive accolades for what they've done um, here on earth— have already received mm-hmm. all that they're going to get from it. Yeah. Um, but those things that are eternal, that are kingdom building, um, will A, reap benefits mm-hmm. forever, mm-hmm. A- and then B, uh, provide uh, feedback or, or celebration in your life for years and for eternity. Yeah. And so that, that's another way to think about what you are going to get out of it. Um, if it's immediate... That might be all you get. Yeah. Um, if it is eternal, it w- will provide a, a much longer lasting, you know, Im- uh, mm. impact on you. Yeah, that's good. Um, to see your conversation in a different direction, toward the beginning of your message, you talked about how um, we tend to do things, Christians across the world tend to do things and say, this was for Jesus. And then you look at all of the ways that Jesus acted, and it did not look like that thing. <laughs> it didn't look like that thing. It did not all. look like the thing. Um, and you said, I think, um, he did not, Jesus himself, he did not complain, and he didn't try to solve all the world's problems. Are, are those like the only things that he, well, the, the world's felt problems, are those the only things he didn't do that you could think of or that's, were those like the main two where you're like i think it well, boils down to you these know two. I, um I, that's i picked those two because um that i think hits closest to home in terms of um social action mm, or mm-hmm. or political stance or standing up for a cause um what i what i think that when the church veers off into the lane of um complaining and trying to focus o- on s- solving these problems in the same way and then just attaching the name of Jesus to it, that was my point, mm. is, is that that's not what he did. I mean, the Roman government was messed up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and like way, corrupt. Way, way and more than anything we and, can imagine. <laughs> and you can hardly find Jesus ever bringing it up. He, he barely ever debated anybody mm. and told them how wrong they were. You know, every yeah. religious people, you know, he, he would get into it with. But so that was my point. Yeah, there were a lot of other things that Jesus never did that the church um, sometimes did. But, but my point was to say, as we try to make a difference in the world, let's make a difference and have it look a lot like what Jesus did and not not what Jesus did. That was yeah. very helpful. Thank you. Um, Amen. Why, why do we tend to have a heart that wants Jesus on our side for everything that we do? Why, why do we fall into that instead of actually going to Jesus and being like, what do you actually want me to do instead of attaching whatever I'm doing to Jesus? That's a great question, Barrick. Uh, maybe it's because we all have a, um, self-promoting bias. Um, like we all think we're right mm-hmm. um, yeah. most of the time. If you're married, yeah. both of you think you're right. Um, almost all the time. And so if we can add Jesus to that, w- which yeah. then requires us not to change, yeah, um, which then allows us to be in control. Mm. And so um, if we can get Jesus on our side, then that just solidifies the argument. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm right because Jesus is on my side too. And therefore I don't have to change and I can be in control. Um, the l- oh, older man. I get, yeah. Barrick, the the less I think that, Mm. um, the more that I understand, um, I know less every year. Uh, and, and that's a good thing. It's actually a very freeing thing. Mm. Yeah. It's almost a convert. I just thought of this as you're saying, that's almost a conversation stopper too. It's like a, if you say Jesus is on my side, you can't, and you're wrong and you're wrong. Then there's no more (laughs) talking, discussing, having relationship. Continue the conversation. Yeah. That's what Jesus did. He did. He very yeah. rarely stopped the conversation. Mm-hmm. He almost always continued the conversation. It's fantastic. So we should do the same. Yes, we should. Indeed.
Let's not right now, that. though. <laughs> not right. Not right now, though. We're going to continue the conversation throughout the week with more going deepers. Perfect. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Any final thoughts, Reed? Share this with somebody. Yeah. Um, continue the conversation. Mm-hmm. God bless. Bye, everyone.